Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're basically just going to do a place. If you click on the view, you will actually see a singular post. So if we go back to our browser, let me just open this. So if we refresh, if our user clicks on this, they can basically go and read the article or the post or whatever you want to call it. All right. So in this lesson, we're basically going to learn how to do that as well is add the meta tags and the meta description uh, for social media as well inside that post so that you guys know how to do that okay so let's get started okay the first thing that i'm going to do if you open your post controller you will have um so we've got an index store and we have our edit and update but here was one as well i deleted it but here was one like this public uh, function the show method was in here with like this i'm not going to use the post controller to actually show the view i'm going to use my blog controller to do that so if i go to my blog controller inside here i will actually return the post view so like this so public uh, function uh, show okay and that will be uh, so we will include the post obviously import it at the top just make sure you import it at the top as well and we're just going to include the post and then we're just going to return a view uh, blog dot show, mm, dot show. Because this one is pages.blog.index, this one will be pages.blog.show. Okay, then we're obviously going to pass in the variable post to that view. Okay, so that we can actually display the right information. But we haven't created that show, so let's go and do it in our resources, views, uh, blog. Right here, we're just going to create a new file called show.blade.php. Okay, so now we've got our view. I'm just going to copy everything from the index and move it to our show. And I'm just going to delete the live wire part right there because in the header, we don't need both of these. Okay, so inside here, I'm just going to create an article tag like this. All right. And an H1. Just for now, just for styling, we're still going to do that. And we're just going to pass in the post.title. And underneath that, I'm just going to create a div. And inside the div, we'll basically, uh, we will render our body. So obviously, no styling yet, so it will not look in nice. But that's not the point. It's just kind of to get you guys to see how you can do it. And you can style it out every you want so we're just going to do on the heading a uh, font of bold okay just for now all right so let's go to our web uh, web file because we need to uh, redirect to that view okay so we're going to do a route let me just bring this down and just change this to our post post but it's going to be a slug not a slug slug okay we're going to use the slug for the post and we're just going to do a show and obviously i'm just going to do it blog dot show right here because we're going to redirect to that path okay so we can get there okay that's good right so we create this now in our rights file so to redirect there and i deleted the show method from our routes for our post okay so the next thing we're going to do inside our we've got our show right here let me just make that like that we've got our block that's returning the view and inside our post controller we deleted that so that's good right so the next part will be inside our show method we need to actually Right, let's go to our resources views livewire.post.showpost because we need 
inside our blog.post for every post okay we just need to link to that route as well so we just the new route will be created it's going to be page per blog dot show it's going to require the parameter to pass through the post so i'm just going to include that as well right for now so let's go to the browser and see what it looks like if i refresh now if i click on it i'm supposed to go to this that's good so as you can see we go to the post right here so obviously it doesn't look nice we i'm still i'm just what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give it a white background and you can style it however you want but this is not about the styling part of it it's just to get the logic and you can obviously do it whatever you want on the front end so you can design when you design it you know how the, how the back end part works for okay so let's go back to vs code all right so we got our show method right here so we're going to add a section now this is going to be our meta description uh, okay our meta description now this is going to be that section right there now this is going to be meta description and this is going to be the post dot meta description okay so basically this is what we put what we're yielding in our head so resources views components partials or the head this head right here i'm just going to add another uh, meta with a name or description Okay, and the content is what we're going to yield. Okay, so we're going to add yield. Okay, we're going to yield meta description. Okay, why is it moving up? Okay, we need to close it off as well. Right, the next one, you can obviously add the keywords, uh, name, because it's kind of also important keywords it's another meta that we can add uh, i'm just going to leave it blank you guys can obviously i'm just putting it in for you to remember to put it in All right so you can obviously put whatever keywords you want in there or when the user creates a post they can actually um, add the keywords as well and you can actually yield them more or less the same as the tags but you can yield them with a meta description like this Right, so the next one is the Facebook meta. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, Facebook meta. Okay, so what we're going to do is that section. Okay, and that is going to be the OG uh, title. And what we're going to do for that one is we're going to do the post title. Okay, and the next one is the image. OG image so every post will kind of have its own unique so basically when the user shares it they basically sharing it from this information right it's going to be under storage and images and we're going to concatenate basically our image path okay so we're just going to put a concatenation right there and we're just going to do post dot cover image all right so we got our meta right there and the next last one is basically going to be the title now the title is the part that the user sees in the head section okay so that is also going to be let me just put title i'm just going to put here post title all right just like that okay, so this for me normally it's kind of important to put it in there but yes you can decide to leave it in or not to have it at all right so we've got our article i'm just going to put a class on this one or bg white uh, padding four let's see how it looks like for refresh just click on this all right so there is our article right there obviously not the prettiest thing make it a bit bigger that's it all right so i'm just going to give 
that just a little, make it a little bit larger and move this just a little bit down. So let me go there. So I'm just going to give this a size text X, make it two times larger, the margin bottom of two. Okay. I'm not trying to go for the prettiest. Okay. So yeah. All right. So underneath that, I'm just going to add the Facebook share. So if before I do that, so just open our uh, dev tools. And if we go to our head section, let me make more bigger. Okay, just like this. Now, as you can see, we got our meta property right here. We got our description. Okay, as this one doesn't have any. So if we go, for instance, let's go to the camping one, this one right here. Okay, the one that we tested. Let me just make it bigger. The head section, you will see the URL will basically link to our URL right there, which is what we want. So if the user clicks on the Facebook image, they will actually get to the right URL here. Now the description, as you can see, it put it like this. But what I want to do, I don't want it to be in with uh, tags in there. So there's another thing that we can do. We can actually strip the tags. So we can do that like this. We can create a method inside our post model that we just, uh, I'm just going to call it like meta uh, description like this. And this method, basically, I will just strip the tags and everything like that. So let's do that. So inside our post model, so let me just open our post model. I'm just going to create another public uh, function. And I'm just going to do this um, meta uh, description. Okay, so meta description. And I'm just going to return. Okay. Okay, then we return. We can just say strip tags. And we're just going to do it like this body. All right. So that's all we're going to do. So let's go to our show view and we just do the meta description like that. Okay, so that it actually strips the tag. So if we go to our browser again and we refresh, as you can see, the tags are stripped. So, okay, so that just kind of makes it a little bit better. Right, so the next part is, let's see. All right, so we've got our Facebook, we've got that. Got our post. All right, underneath here, I'm just going to add a div. Okay, so this is basically if the user wants to share basically the post. So I'm just going to get an SVG. Okay, so just put the SVG in share on Facebook or something like that. Okay, so let's do that. For simplicity of time, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to call this Facebook. And I'm just going to, let's make an anchor tag. I'm just going to say share on Facebook. Just as an example, because you can obviously put in the image that you want. All right, some already complained my videos a bit too long, so I don't want to make the video too long unnecessarily. Okay, so the part that be quite important here on this button right here is basically where you want to share your uh, the post to. Okay, so let's do. So basically what I've done is I just changed it to a button and actually just moved it inside the article. Then basically the URL is for facebook.sharer.sharer.php. Question, a query, and basically the request URL. This is basically our helper, Laravel, so where we can actually just determine the URL that we're basically in and stuff like that. So when the users share the post and actually... Uh, just give it some classes in there. So let's go and see how it looks like. So basically, you've got your article. So basically, if we want to share it on Facebook, if we click it, okay, so basically, it will require the login details, and obviously, it will share basically that post. As you can see, the parameters right there, it actually brings in our title, blog post, or test with the title and everything in that. Okay. So all good stuff. But I would normally not do this without putting a target of blank. So meaning it needs to open in a new tab because I don't want the users actually 
to leave my website okay and yeah let's just do it like that so if i refresh and i click on here basically the website is still open there but it will just open the facebook on the next page all right so that's basically the single post site so if we go back to our blog again if we click on this one you will see basically the same thing okay so if the user says that they will actually get that post in there all right so good stuff the next part that i want to show you guys because i think some might not know it or some might do is the time zones okay so if you go to app um, convict file sorry and then you convict under app you will go to the bottom you will see um, your time zone utc now the thing is it's best to put the time zone in for your client's application and let's say the users for that client or the user itself is based in like in our case based in africa but you want them to be time specific because the utc is basically two hours behind our time zone we are the plus two now if the user want to schedule his post at two, 12 o'clock it will be at 10 o'clock utc but he won't know that okay so the best thing in order to change this i will just show you the php time zones and you can just copy and paste them in here so let me show you if we go to our browser and open a new tab you can just do php time zones okay now for me as you can see there's time zones for europe okay so you just copy the time zones that you want or if you um the same time zone as the utc you don't need, need to change it okay but for me i have to change it so i'm going to use the africa where so where's ours okay for us it's africa johannesburg so this one right here i'm just going to copy this just as is and you're just going to move to your application and just paste it in there all right so now our time zone will be right Okay, so the user, if they schedule it for a certain day, you just I just wanted to mention it for you guys so that you know the time zones and things like that. So if you want to change them in your application, you can do that. Okay, so let me just go back and you will see there's quite a number number of number of ones. You've got your EET, uh, obviously you have the UCT. all right and the gmt and stuff like that this is all the supported time zones and stuff like that that you can have okay and obviously if you want to read more you can come here and read more this is just an extra side note that i wanted to add to you guys right please if you like the video give it a like if you didn't like it give it a dislike some constructive and negative feedback is always appreciated and consider subscribing to the channel it helps out a lot and thank you guys for watching goodbye